She has tried. I mean, to be fair to her, she has, re she's tried, not repeatedly, she's not, there's me defending her too much. She tries a couple of times to tell him. It just doesn't happen. She's trying to pick her moment and she can't quite find the right moment. And she shares these moments with the audience again. Um, but yeah, she finally manages to find an opportunity to tell Michael. I've been <clears throat> working on this one for a while now. She picks her moment well. Yeah, I mean, she chooses a strange environment to tell him, but I think it's perfect for her. I think that she says it publicly <laughs> in front of an audience. Maybe, she, maybe it feels like a safe place for her to do it. Uh, because it's pretty big. I mean, that's a pre it's, it's pretty much a bombshell. There's safety in numbers, isn't there? And for Annika, for some reason, she feels safe to tell him on a stage behind a microphone. She essentially makes him the punchline to a joke. Two detectives walk into a comedy club. <laughs> One stands at the mic and in a clear voice uh, says to the other one that he's the father of her teenage daughter. I mean, Jamie Savis is, is just, he's playing an absolute blinder because his character travels a very, very delicate line because there are lots of ways a person could react to that. There's a lot to think through because Michael has three daughters of his own, you know, and then there's this, um, that, he's, that he's the father of Morgan. So he's got a lot to think about. Jamie has Michael's character really absorb a lot of the pain. He doesn't give much away. And the t those tiny flicks and looks and holding down of emotion are so different to Annika that I think it, they work very well as a, as a double act in terms of work partners. And I think you believe that when they were younger, they had quite, you know, a uh, volatile relationship. It's a great, it's a great scene. <laughs> it's a great scene. I think it's very Annika to do it that way. 